once the amino acid needs of the body are met, the protein is amino acid molecules uh, hooked together. So it's broken down to these amino acids. Once those needs are met, then those amino acids go into the large bowel where the bacteria that I talked about, they will ferment those amino acids. But instead of useful end products, like what dietary fiber would elicit, the protein or amino acids break down into in, uh, to ammonia, indoles, phenols, sulfur-containing compounds, and amines, five categories of nitrogenous compounds, that several of which are, are carcinogenic, especially ammonia. So then you have this excess ammonia, excess indole, excess phenol, etc., floating around in our bodies, and unless it's whisked out of the body, the, the uh, uh, large bowel can start developing uh, cancer symptoms even, and they'd be certainly very toxic anyhow. So feeding these real high protein diets really uh, uh, inadvisable because you don't want the animal to experience this, uh, these toxins that are present there.